Hey guys, so today I'm going to update the um, tail lights, the brake, blinker, and reverse light on this 09 Ram 1500 SLT. Um, for some reason it burns out the lights really quickly. So, um, and normally if you just get the bulbs, the little LED bulbs, and then put them in there, they, um, it doesn't solve the, the rapid flash that you get when your bulb goes out. So um, I'll show you how to hook up one of those little heat sinks and um, solve that problem as well. All right, thanks for watching. Um, so to get the bulbs out, you just have to um, bring your tailgate down and you have these two little star drive here, the Torx or whatever they're called. Um, you pop those guys out. This loosens up, and then basically you just pull this thing back towards you. Let's, let's try it on. And it pops out, and then these just rotate and pull out. And then pull the bulbs. Bulbs are easy to pull out. For some reason it's like all, I don't know if this is why they're, they're getting overheated or something maybe. It looks like they're burning up. But you just pull those guys out. They've come out pretty easy. So for the um, little replacement bulbs, I got these like super bright Silvana. Um, let's see, 3157As where the um, where the blinkers, brakes, and then um, for the, the reverse light is 921. Um, that's what the catalog told me. So um, I already did one side, that's why these are open. And so um, I know this works. And so basically all you really need to do this is um, your Torx drive. Uh, I'm not sure what size head this is. This is a, um, it says a C, RV T25, so T25 head, um, star drive, and then um, pair of pliers, yeah, the, the little load equalizer, which is required to correct the, the rapid flashing, um, it came with some little quick splices, but they, they didn't do the job, they didn't pierce the, the, the cable, and they didn't, um, they didn't actually um, hold tight, and so I just bought some, some cheap, cheap ones as well at the, the auto parts store. And they did the job quite well. So um, I'll show you how to how to put all this stuff in, and um, we'll see our rapid flash go from rapid to to um, nice and soft. All right, this bulb's in. It's relatively painless. You basically just um, snap them in, and um, they just go in like so. And um, then we'll go ahead and turn them on and see them rapid flash, or see the brake light rapid flash on the flasher. So I turned on the light, or on the flasher. Um, obviously it's flashing. So then if you go inside the cab, we still have our rapid flasher. And besides the oil change that I have to, I also have um, right rear turn signal lamp out, even though it's indeed in in um, working. So um, the little um, heat sink will fix that resistor. So I'll show you how to put that in. Uh, Silvana LED load equalizer corrects hyper flashing caused by LED replacement systems. And sure enough, it, it fixes the hyper flashing on here. Um, but as I said, I had to get some extra little splicers, quick slicers, splicers, because the ones that came in here um, just wouldn't pierce 
they wouldn't pierce the the wire of even these these little guys. They wouldn't pierce even the wire of the the, uh, the load um, equalizer, the little heat sink here. So, um, but with these, it was really easy, really easy to do. And um, on the sheath in back here, um, I looked, and it looks like you don't even, or at least on mine, you don't even have to cut the sheath. Um, you just basically um, come over here and it opens up, right? Um, so you just kind of open this thing up. Let me get this camera. Here. So you just open this thing up, pull out the wires, and then you're like, Oh crap, there's three wires in here, and there's only two wires on the load equalizer. So what gives, right? And these actually on this side are even different colors than the ones on the other side, right? So you got yellow and blue stripe, and then a black. And on the other side you have, um, this is the right side, on the left side you have two greens, and one green is thick and the other green is thin. And um, so it's like, what gives, right? Which which ones do I do I pierce? Um, basically, it's the outside. It's the two outside. Um, if you look at your your little three, where the wires go into the socket, um, it's the two outside wires. So in this case, it's the yellow stripe and the black. The black is the ground. The yellow stripe is going to be for the flasher. Um, on the other side, it was on mine. It was a, a thin green and the black. So, um, so here I'll show you how, how easy those, those splice on and then we'll um, put this thing back together and see it correct the hyper flash. So as I mentioned before, the, the splicers that came with the, um, the hyper flash correction thing, the load equalizer, heat sink, um, they were junk. So I just bought these. These are cheap but effective. Um, one side, you look through, one side has a blockage and the other side doesn't. So your little load equalizer wire, pick either side, goes in the side that's blocked. And then as I said, it's the two outside, so in my case yellow. So I'm going to take that yellow wire and stick it in here. Pull enough out so they can get it. And just route it through your little splicer. Don't drop in your load equalizer. Alright. Alright, so I got that in there. My load equalizer is all the way. And then you just take and just push this little metal plate down and it just joins those two. And then you just flip this metal around and or this plastic shield around. And that's all there is to it, right? So it's, it's easy, easy peasy, one, two, three. And so you do the same thing with the black. And put that in. It's a little tight with all the wires, but it's not a big deal. black wire in there, got my equalizer, and then just crimp that metal plate down. All right, push this. So now it should work, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just strap this with the zip ties to the um, inside of this piece of metal here so that it um, has something to dis dissipate heat to. I don't think it's going to get really hot because it only really comes on when the brakes are applied or the um, no actually not even when the brakes just when the flasher so it's not like it's on all the time but it says to attach it to metal and so I'll just zip tie it to that hopefully the zip ties won't melt and um, so let's go ahead and um, turn on the flasher and see what happens 
the one on the other side I turned on and it um it hyper flashed for a few minutes or just a minute and then it stopped hyper flashing it so it it did take a second for it to figure out that it was not hyper flashing anymore and so it saw that it says rear turn signal off but then it stopped hyper flashing now and so I still have a contact dealer but that's one message and that message is an oil change due so that's gonna be my next task today is changing the oil but um, at least I got both sides changed out and they are both um, normal flash and so here we'll go out and see what that looks like There's our normal, normal flash, and um, this one doesn't need the load balancer, the the lower, because there's no test on that one, right? And this thing, it's warm, but it's not hot. Um, you know, if I leave it on with the emergencies going, maybe, maybe it would get warm. But so, um, so now I'm just going to zip tie that up. So let me just. Um, Package comes with these two little zip ties. And so basically just take this and you can feed a zip tie through this little hole here. That should be good enough, but they give you two, so might as well go the other way as well. All right, so that's in there like that. That's gonna sit there like that. And this thing sits down like that. So there's plenty of room. Um, I could cut those little wires on the zip ties, but not really concerned about that. And um, there's no real wires touching touching this heat sink. It's still not hot, hot to the touch. So I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about like melted wires and such on that. So um, I think we're good. We'll go ahead and just put it back together and um, you can see what it looks like. Um, See what it looks like in the lens, right? This this bulb, I don't know if I'd get this bulb again, um, just because looking straight on at it, it um, it, you don't see the light. It's actually on the side, the light, and it's only got these two little lights. They say it's super bright, but um, I don't know. It doesn't seem all that bright. Um, so it's it's actually relying on reflecting out. So um, I might actually change these out, return these, and get the get the ones where you can actually see the LEDs, the LED bulbs. them on those little clips and push it forward top and bottom and then these two little screws
then there it is. It's fairly dim. Um, well, eh, I mean, it's it's tail light. It's acceptable. But again, I think I, um, I'll get the ones that have the LEDs that you can actually see from the rear. Um, but it'll do for now. I'll pass inspection. So, that's it. I hope this helped you out. Thanks. Bye.